Introduction Have you ever wondered why are girls different from boys? Sir, girls and boys are different because they have different body structures. Yes, but this difference lies in their different reproductive organs. Yes, and these organs secrete different hormones in males and females. You are right, Rahul. Let us examine in detail the reproductive organs in males and females. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Identify male reproductive organs Understand the functions of various male reproductive organs Identify female reproductive organs And understand the functions of various female reproductive organs Male Reproductive System the mammalian male reproductive system includes external genitalia A. Scrotum B. Penis Internal reproductive organs A. Gonads Testes B. Accessory sex glands C. Ducts to carry sperm and granular secretion The two major functions of male reproductive system are Sperm production Deposition of sperm in the female reproductive tract Scrotum a Scrotum is a fold of the body wall that aids in reproduction in the following manner. The testes are held in a sac called the scrotum. The scrotum keeps the temperature of the testes 1 or 2 degrees cooler than normal body temperature. This low temperature is necessary for sperm production and storage. Penis It is the male external genitalia that is composed of special tissue that helps in erection of penis during insemination. The head of penis, called glans penis, is covered by loose fold of tissue called foreskin. Gonads Testes Testes consists of highly coiled tubules surrounded by layers of connective tissue. These are called seminiferous tubules. Ladic cells are scattered in between the seminiferous tubules. These cells produce primary male sex hormone, testosterone and other androgens. Sperms are produced in the seminiferous tubules. Male sex accessory ducts Reti testes, vas afferentia, epididymis, vas deferens. The sperm passes into these ducts in the following manner. Seminiferous tubules, reti testes, vas afferentia, leaves testes, epididymis, vas deferens, urethra. These ducts store and transport sperm from the testes to outside through urethra. Male Accessory Glands There are three sets of accessory glands. Seminal vesicles. Its secretion is composed of a coagulating enzyme, fructose, and prostaglandins. Prostate glands. Its secretion consists of anticoagulating enzymes and citrate. Bulbo-urethral glands. Its secretion helps in lubrication of penis. Secretions of these glands constitute the seminal plasma. Assessment. Before proceeding further, let us know how much have you learned. Match the following. Assessment. Before proceeding further, let us know how much you have learned. Drag and drop the correct option. Female Reproductive System The female reproductive system consists of ovaries, female gonads, oviduct, uterus, cervix, vagina, external genitalia comprising two sets of labia 
and vaginal opening, a pair of mammary glands, ovaries, produce ovum and ovarian hormones, are connected to the uterus by ligaments, ovarian stroma is divided into peripheral cortex and inner medulla, each ovary contains several follicles. Each follicle consists of one egg cell surrounded by follicle cells. Oviduct At ovulation, the egg is expelled into the abdominal cavity near the funnel-shaped opening of the oviduct or fallopian tube. Closer to the ovary is the funnel-shaped part of oviduct called infundibulum. The fimbrae of infundibulum help in collection of ovum after ovulation. Cilia lining the oviduct convey the egg through oviduct to the uterus. Uterus, it is a thick muscular inverted pear-shaped organ that supports fetus during pregnancy. It has three layers of tissue. Perimetrium, myometrium and endometrium. Cervix. It is the neck of uterus that opens into vagina. The cavity of cervix is called cervical canal. Vagina. It is the thin walled chamber where sperm is deposited during copulation. Along with cervical canal, vagina forms the birth canal. External genitalia. It includes mons pubis, a fatty tissue cushion covered by pubic hair and skin. Labia majora. It is the fleshy fold of tissue surrounding the vaginal opening. Labia minora are the slender skin folds under labia majora. Hymen. It is a vascularized membrane that usually covers the vaginal opening from birth until ruptured by vigorous physical activity or sexual intercourse. Clitoris. It is a tiny finger-like structure which lies at the upper junction of the two labia minora above the urethral opening. Mammary gland. Represents one of the female's secondary sexual characteristics. Present in both males and females, but functionally active in females only. The granular tissue of mammary glands consists of 15 to 20 mammary lobes containing clusters of alveoli that secrete milk. The tubules of each mammary lobe join to form a mammary duct which joins other mammary ducts to form a wider mammary ampulla which is connected to lactiferous duct through which milk is sucked out. Assessment Before proceeding further, let us know how much you have learned. Drag and drop the correct option. Did you know, a drug containing sphingosine one phosphate is synthesized to protect the women germline from damage caused by cancer therapy. This drug also helps in reviving the ovarian functions in such females. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. The male reproductive system is composed of a pair of testes, the male sex accessory ducts, and the accessory glands and external genitalia. Each testes contains highly coiled seminiferous tubules that produce sperms. The male external genitalia is called penis. The female reproductive system consists of a pair of ovaries, a pair of oviducts, a uterus, a vagina, external genitalia, and a pair of mammary glands. The oviducts, uterus, and vagina are female accessory ducts. The mammary glands are one of the female's secondary sexual characteristics.